Yeah, it's almost eight o'clock at night, June 7th. Uh, me and my brother's up in Florida. We got the hogs on that last video. Uh, we're heading east right now. I got a tip from my buddy TJ. I got one. Uh, maybe I'll just leave that one here then. Ah, fuck it. Sweet one too. Do you want? What are the prospects looking good? Yeah. You killed them the other day, right? Nothing smaller than 33 or up to 45. That's so legit. one guy boat it had to be a 40 pound fish, easy. Nice. That's what we're after. He was trying to find a scale because his batteries died. Uh, see, we heading right down to right down to this wall. Yeah. All right, we're gonna go. Uh, we're gonna go bait up real quick. Um, pretty much got bait. We know where it's gonna be. Uh, we're gonna be fishing just off it. Wait for some big striped bass to pick off these stragglers that we're gonna drop down. But uh, I want you to see this side scan sonar right here. That's what we're finding this bait and all these fish with. Uh, primarily a structure finder, but uh, in this case we're able to mark bass. We're able to make mark bait. Uh, it's not gonna be an issue because size of the bass and the bottom structure. Yeah, lift it up like this. So a bunker, this is all bait fish right here. So these are striped bass, striped bass. This is a just this giant one we that one up pile of bunker coming here. These bass are right on the edges of them. <laughs> I don't know how many times in my life I would kill for this. Fishing, you know, the Nyanic reefs and everywhere else. I mean, this is just insanity. Where do we have to run to find bunker? Yeah. I wish I could have this in my yard, in my pool, at home. Like, these stripes are thick here. Look at this. Dude, where do you hook these things? Right through a schnoz. Got it. Hey T, while you're doing this, yeah. uh, tell us real quick how you make these these bunker uh, these live bait tubes. Jeff, hold that up. There's another one that's unhooked if you wanna. Now let me get this in the water. Here, so watch your foot there, TJ. Your left foot. So that's what PVC? Basically what I did is it's four inch out, uh, outside diameter PVC. Yep. I did uh, quarter inch holes all the way around to just space them out kind of evenly. The black end cap is actually a, uh, a leaf drain for a gutter system. I saw it and I figured, hey, it might work. Uh -huh. It's a little bit too small for the tube, so I, I beefed it up with some silicone tape yep. and then glued it in there and then zip tied for extra precaution. And then the other end is just a thread on four inch cap. Drilled the holes in that too, drew a big outlet hole so yep. you can get some good flow through it. Uh -huh. and then secured it with 550 cord and carabiners. That's pretty sweet. That, and it keeps them alive good. For hours. Hours, you say? Hours, yeah. Jig in the river. Yeah, he's a small one. That's all good. Fish. Little that's guy. A, that's our first one? Yeah. All right. Smallest no. one in <laughs> shit. Week and a half? Yeah, it broke the ice. Good enough. Hooked up again? Yep. Another small one, though. Quality will come with the numbers. Nice man. A little better than the last one, but still not what we're quite after. No, we're gonna get there. How's he feel though? Dude, they all feel big to me. <laughs> Balls deep and striped bass. Um, first one? Not bad, yeah. Nope. First one. How long has it been since you caught a striper? 
three years. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I'll take it. Yeah, nice fish. Let's yeah. see him. All right, we'll send them back. We're yep. off there a little better fish. These are... Already. Good time. There's, there's a hit. There's a hit. There's a hit. There is. There is. <laughs> yep. This is just insane action, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. That's well, been hot. Good. What do you think? What do you think? How's it look? That looks good. Yeah. yeah. Right on the edge of 30s. How do they eat them? This has been non-stop. One after the other. All night long. And Get some good, uh, a little better. Hold that bad boy up. All right, nice one. Do you feel like a better fish? Uh, kind of, yeah, same not class. Really. Not really, probably about the same. Yeah. Oh, cool. Hold him up. See him. Nice. Not bad, man. All right. Oh. Good deal. Get him back in the water. There you go. Another keeper bass. Uh, it's kind of been one after another tonight, so thanks to TJ. But a lot of fun here. He's going in the box too. We're gonna keep it. Well, that was it. That's our night. One striped bass after another. This light is extremely bright in our eyes, but it's the best we get to do right now. Um, non stop. It was awesome. Uh, everyone on Live Bunker, hits were savage, rods were bent all night. Thanks, T. That was an awesome time, man. Really Perfect. awesome. Good that time. was fun. Yeah. Glad you guys could make it out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Two hour trip. Not not easy. Not fun. But. No, but it wasn't. But that was that was completely awesome and uh, worth every every second of it. So we got some stripers to fillet tomorrow. We're gonna cook them up on the grill. I can't wait for that. And uh, that's the best, best part. part. It is the best part. So yeah, we'll do it again next time. Um, we didn't get, you know, quite the, the size, but we got the number, so that's all that mattered tonight. All right.